Now to the Israel-Hamas war, and tonight you will see the stunning moment. Families of hostages storm Israel's parliament, demanding lawmakers do more to get the hostages freed. And tonight here, our Matt Gutman takes us inside a massive Hamas tunnel and what they were shown. Proof the Israelis say that the hostages had been held there. As the IDF launches its biggest offensive in weeks, tonight, family members of the more than 100 hostages still held in Gaza, storming a finance committee meeting of the Israeli parliament, demanding they act to bring them home, slamming the desk and shouting, now. The lawmakers sitting there stunned in a moment highlighting the growing pressure on Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who reportedly rejected a deal presented by Hamas to end the war in exchange for their release. The IDF taking us into Han Yunis in recent days, a set of tunnels beneath this house where the military says some 20 hostages were held. We descend the stairs. There's a half mile straight away, a series of turns. So at this point, we're going to have to get on our hands and knees to get through here. It opens up to a vaulted room, tiled and plastered. Then beyond, those cells, a mattress, pillow, and a toilet. On this side right here, is a canister that is used or was used to hold an RPG warhead. Not far from where the IDF took us, Han Yunus has been crammed with many of the nearly two million Palestinians displaced in fighting in northern Gaza, thousands again on the move, fleeing southward. And with the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry reporting the death toll topping 25,000, we asked the IDF... Do all Palestinians in Gaza then have to pay because of what Hamas did? We do not see collective punishment, but Hamas embeds himself using them as a human shield. Unfortunately, this tragedy creates this loss of life. David, a senior Israeli official acknowledging to me that Israel's war aims of both dismantling Hamas and freeing the hostages are competing. Dismantling Hamas, he said, will take many months and time is not something the hostages have given the conditions they're being held in, which is one reason we're seeing this renewed momentum right now for negotiations. David. Matt Guppin live in Tel Aviv tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.